Um, how did I get into beatboxing? I started um, as a kid, I think. I was always playing around with my voice. Uh, I, uh, I wanted to play drums and my parents wouldn't let me. So my only way was to either build one with pots and pans or to play with my voice. Um, then later, I, when I got into singing, uh, I started singing in a cappella groups and being a bass. Uh, I always felt there's something missing. So I was doing bass lines and I was like, oh, there's a beat missing. This is like in the 90s, so there was no YouTube at that point. Nobody, you know, very few people were doing it. Um, and um, certainly not in the Black Forest and in Germany. Uh, so uh, in my a cappella group, I started to develop it. And then later when I moved to London, uh, I connected with the hip hop scene here and with the beatbox scene, which is big. And so we would just jam in the parks. We would just meet. I remember 2001, we had the king of the jam uh, in St. James Park. And it was, um, yeah, it was amazing. It's a real family, so people share uh, very much their experience here. I had a, a big opportunity. I had a, an a cappella group back in Germany, um, which was kind of semi-professional and was really going places. But then I auditioned for an a cappella group in England called the Swingle Singers, um, and that was a full-time gig so I was very lucky to get that position and uh, before that there wasn't there wasn't really any beatboxing in in that particular group um, it was more kind of jazz and classical and then when I joined we were two bassists who could actually uh, beatbox quite well so we became, we became a, a vocal rhythm section and we had the luxury of having a, a full-time a cappella beatboxer and a full-time a cappella bass and then we still had six voices so that was fantastic and and I developed my skills throughout throughout that I'd say I'm more um, of a vocal percussionist rather than a beatboxer like coming from hip-hop or electronic music I'm, my background is more uh, jazz so um, yeah now I just teach it and I really enjoy teaching so the most Im exciting part of my job is to travel for sure and but it's I think it's the probably is meeting different people and teaching and, um, and uh, seeing how people can develop and how people are inspired and how they you know, open up and, and how they make music together. Um, I really love teaching groups of people and it's amazing to see when they really gel, uh, when they're in the same groove, when, they're, when the, really the music uh, comes out. Um, and it's really inspiring and you know, for me as well to see like this morning I had a youth choir from Norway and they were absolutely brilliant and I've never seen a, a youth choir so good and so exciting. So uh, I think teaching, traveling, meeting people, connecting is, is really exciting, making music happen. Most difficult part of my job, um, you really have to stay on top of what's happening, I think. Um, so things are happening now so fast with YouTube, it's, things are spreading uh, so quickly. Um, you know, somebody tries a new technique here and everyone knows it around the planet within like a few hours. So things are progressing very fast. Um, and of course you don't have to know everything, but you kind of have to uh, stay a little bit contemporary with, with what you do. Um, so I'm inspired by certain singers, of course. Um, I think I'm just inspired by good music. So I want to do good music and I want to do that vocally. So whether that's classical, whether that's jazz, whether that's electronic music, whether that's hip-hop music. Um, I love, um, I'm excited by, by um, transporting that to the human voice, so starting a beatbox choir. I'm intending to start like a dubstep choir, you know, no one has ever done that before and that's like a really cool uh, concept, I think. In terms of singers, I, I love Bob McFerrin, I love like people like Al Jarreau, uh, people who are very uh, playful and experimental with their voice. Um, and uh, they, the idea is, I think, not to copy them, but to be inspired to find your own voice and to try new approaches to how you use your own voice and, and use it in a, in a different and instrumental way. Cool, uh, I'm Tobias Hook, um, and I sing currently with the Beatbox Collective um, and also with a group called Beatvox. Uh, you can check out the websites beatvox.net and thebeatboxcollective.co.uk. Um, and you find me on Facebook, uh, Tobias Hug, H-U-G, I like to hug. Um, yeah, and um, I'm running a new a cappella festival called Vocalmente in Italy. So if you fancy a singing holiday in the summer in Italy, it's a good place to be. <laughs>